Hello and uh, welcome to a um, quick video. This was inspired by a discussion I had on class the other day and um, some examples on how to think of um, layers and interfaces. So we start with um, um, having a, uh, a laptop. This is some sort of laptop. And um, a laptop has usually some sort of uh, wireless interface. I usually you make this filled square uh, when it's an interface. And then up here we have some sort of uh, wireless router that is connected to the internet. And these two, let's do green for this. These two talk to each other using wireless. Um, this is uh, probably 802.11, uh, that would be N or AC or some similar. So that's the wording for it. So we have that the laptop has an interface. This would be the, um, the wireless interface or the Wi-Fi interface. And then we have the router with some similar. Please note that the router and the laptop both have an interface. The hardware for this interface and this interface must be compatible and they must both be able to speak 802.11 N or AC or what they have decided to talk. Right. We have another option here. Uh, laptops is, uh, have multiple interfaces. We could imagine having um, some sort of switch where we have a uh, physical cable going to the laptop and um, this would be um, um, Ethernet oh not that one let's do this one in green just to be consistent so this would be an Ethernet cable um, And that's the one called 802.3, as I remember it. And then we can continue. And this one over here will have, again, let's do green to signify connections. So we have made a little drawing already where we have the laptop having an interface, having two interfaces, one of them being the wireless interface. It will somehow, using wireless, have an electrical connection to the wireless on the router. And the important part is that they are the same hardware specs so they can talk to each other. The same goes over here where the laptop have an Ethernet uh, wired interface, an IJ45 connection. <coughs> and it's connecting to a switch. It's called, uh, just to add some words to this. This is a switch, this is a router. So the switch is a layer two device, so it will basically take whatever data comes in here and pipe it out there. But we need to have that the electrical signals here are compatible with each other and the data transmitted on layer two are the same up here. So this would be a laptop. It has multiple instances. Let's add a different device here. Um, this would be, um, an old style mobile phone. So the normal mobile phones we have today has an interface where it can talk to, how do I draw this nicely? Wirelessly with, um, this is also 802.11. In principle, the mobile phone can talk directly to the laptop. This is not the usual way of doing it, but the mobile phone has a physical interface that can talk 802.11 with the router or the laptop. So it has an interface to do this. Um, a mobile phone also have a different interface. Oh, let's be specific that this is wireless. It also has a different one where it talks to something else. This is a cell tower. And these cell towers, they of course also talk wireless and they do it using, uh, you know, 2G, 3G, 4G, and let's not get into the 5G discussion. So the mobile phone 
has multiple physical interfaces also that allows it to talk to the world. From a user point of view, um, you might have different speeds on the different interfaces, but uh, when you are on mobile, you will be using your, um, uh, you, you have a limit on data. On this connection here. So depending on your subscription to your um, internet provider, uh, sorry, the uh, mobile provider, you might have a limitation on how much data you're allowed to transmit. So for some people, it would be super important mm -hmm. if you are on one interface or the other, depending on which, um, what's it called, depending on uh, speeds and um, data limits. So this is an example where ordinary users actually, it is actually important for them which physical interface to use. Over here with the laptop where we have wireless and cabled, it will mostly be for the technicians to actually uh, care about this. But this example with the mobile phone, it makes a lot of sense in my world. Actually laptops have another interface that mobile phones also have. Um, we could uh, have a Bluetooth connection between these. And to make it even better, we could have yet another interface where we have, this would be a cable. Oh, that was ugly. And this would be for, this could be USB. So we have a lot of physical interfaces on our devices and uh, depending on your use case you want to use one or the other and when it gets to the case of uh, wireless or cable these two are often interchangeable so you will have software on the inside that decides which ones to use you could also have a system where you actually had the mobile phone as a way of connecting to the network also I just wanted to add um, that this is the internet and this guy over here, the cell tower, has some sort of ISP network where it connects to other cell towers. And it also connects somehow to the internet. Just to complete it, oh yes. So this drawing was a mess, but the point about having a device with multiple physical interfaces so that it can communicate with the rest of the world. We have shown here, this guy has four different uh, physical interfaces to talk to the world using USB, Bluetooth, 802.11, and the um, 4G, 3G thing to talk uh, to the phone system. And the laptop would have the wireless and the cable, the Ethernet and Bluetooth and USB also. So you will have a lot of physical interfaces and depending on uh, your use case. As always, in order for two devices to talk to each other, you must somehow have a physical connection between these two. Yes, that was what I wanted to say in this um, uh, quick video. I hope this serves as an example on how um, to understand interfaces and that you actually have a lot of different interfaces on your physical devices. Thank you for listening.